today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Texas, no weather to speak of, shut out, roof open, yes, yes, and yes, a great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys. And joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. Third down, Heineke. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that will tie us at 3-3. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. This offense, they've got a really nice drive going, and now it's first and goal. Can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone? Robinson going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Robinson again, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., his seventh rushing touchdown of the year, and Washington has taken the lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfied. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. On third down, Robinson. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. 
Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone, second and five. Second and five now, Heineke. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing, Heineke. Steps away to his left. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Sly able to put this one through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. Time to jump back in. Opening drive, third quarter. And this offense has it in the red zone, first and 10. They run the draw here with Robinson. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 69 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Heineke to throw it. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Commanders take the open off of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? So this offense, they've made their way into the red zone now. They've got it a couple yards inside the 20 at the 18, first and 10. Robinson up the middle. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw. Touchdown! Curtis Samuel from 17 yards out. And the Commanders will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at it. This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. Now Heineke. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. It's 
straight ahead. It's Robinson. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we've got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting... A red zone alert as we get you back into the action. This offense coming up on a second down and three to go. Hand off now to Robinson. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is... And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr., with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and... No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. Desperation time. Prescott on four. He's got Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have... A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for Washington, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Big D.